networked environment, the digital environment today is so enmeshed in our daily lives. They're not really digital rights, they're just rights. These are wicked problems, and these are highly complex problems with interacting parts. And so by working in interdisciplinary ways, we can start to find and figure out solutions. There's so many people around the world now focused on human rights online, other digital rights online, net neutrality, fair copyright, privacy, the list goes on and on. RightsCon has really filled a critical gap, ensuring that the community has a place to come together. We have two and a half thousand people here from grassroots organizations, from tech companies, activists who are really defending their human rights in the digital age. We're moving from working in silos to working together. This is where you get to do the real work. Regional collaboration has been really crucial for us to be able to coordinate, to back channel. At RightsCon, we finally get to meet each other kind of in person. I met someone from Egypt, someone from Tunis, someone that just came back from Gaza. Literally people from every corner of the world are here. The coming together of all of us and the insight from the various perspectives that we have, it's deeply valuable. It's very important to be in RightsCon because we can engage with the technology community and the people working worldwide with human rights. It's very lively, it's very fruitful, the sort of a, a convergence and divergence of all these people. Things look pretty bleak worldwide, but people are resourceful. The insatiable desire for personal freedom and access to information, I think you can't keep that down. You try to defend your right to be informed and your right to speak out.